Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So today we're going to talk about where to hang your Christmas stockings when you do not have a mantle. If that sounds like something you would be interested in, then keep on watching. Okay guys, so we're gonna jump right on into this video. I hope everybody's doing well wherever you are. And so let's go with number one. So number one is a stocking holder. If you don't have a mantle, then you can try a stocking holder. It looks really nice and interesting and it's a little creative too. And I kind of like those stocking holders. You can put them anywhere, of course, but they look cute around, a, I don't know, a counter top, you know, like a low counter or something, kind of like you're framing it. So yes, a stocking uh, holder. Now this is one that's pretty common. I'm starting to see it get catchy is the ladder, like a cute little ladder. You can make your own ladder and paint it, or you can buy one already made out of the store and hang your stockings up the ladder. The next one is on the wall. So if, especially if you're in like a small space and you don't have many places to hang things or you're in an apartment, um, hanging them on a, a wall with some command strips would be nice and put them in a really nice spot, maybe near the Christmas tree or something. But yes, the wall is a good place as well. The bookcase is one that I've tried and I love that idea. Just take your couple of um, stocking holders, you know, the little things that you sit on a mantle. If you had a mantle, you could put them on the bookcase and hang up your stockings. The next one is hang them on a window. How many people have done that? Let me know down in the comments. Have you ever hung your Christmas stockings on a mantle? The next one is a door, the front door. Hang your Christmas stocking on a door. You can hang it up just like a, just a plain Christmas stocking. Or the next one is a stocking wreath. So you can turn your stocking into a wreath instead of the regular traditional stocking. We're going to use a stocking wreath. The next one is one that you can do, but just don't topple your Christmas tree over with a lot of things in your um, stocking. You don't want to stuff it too much unless you have one of those big sturdy Christmas trees and you can hang some stockings on your Christmas tree. And it depends on how large your tree is because you don't want a big uh, Christmas stocking on a teeny tiny little tree. So make sure it's the right size too so it'll balance out and look nice and cute. The next one is on your coat rack. If you have some little coat racks on the wall that you normally hang coats on, you can hang your stockings on the coat rack and that looks really cute, especially if it's like in a hallway or foyer or like your mud room. Oh my gosh, that's really cute. Um, and you can use a coat hook, like just a standalone coat hook and you can put your uh, stockings on that as well. And lastly is just a simple drawer. If you have a drawer somewhere in the home that would maybe out where the stockings are noticeable, maybe in a foyer or something like that, an open concept, you can put your stockings on the knobs of a dresser or some type of buffet. So guys, unfortunately, we have come to an end of the video again, but I want to share one little thing with you before you go. So now I have a Amazon store. And so I will be sharing some of my favorites on my Amazon store front. And also there will be things that you've probably already seen me review here on my channel, because when I first started my channel, out many years ago, I did a lot of product reviews. So now you can support me even more and I would definitely appreciate it if you do. If you go on to my Amazon storefront, click the link, take a peek. Now I don't have very many things on it right now, so I will be adding things um, very often. I'll just say that. I don't know how often, but very, very often. 
Um, I'm big on reviews. So yeah, I can help you out a lot with saving some coins or, or wasting your time on products that just, you know, hey, without me, you wouldn't have known that type of thing. So yeah, so look out for my Amazon storefront. And one of the items that's on my storefront, I wanna share real quick because this is the holiday season and Christmas is just my favorite time of the year. I love Christmas. I'm just a big kid when it comes to Christmas. So um, I got this for Christmas many, many years ago. I think if I had to take a wild guess, it was around 2015, 2016, somewhere in there, my daughter bought this for me. And out of all the Christmas gifts I've gotten over the years, I still say this is by far the best Christmas gift ever. It is a sleep mask, but it's a three in one because you can sleep in it, cover your eyes up with it, or you can put it around your head. It's a headband sleep mask. You can exercise with it, listen to music. I listen to waterfall sounds. I like to listen to the rain sounds with this. It has speakers inside of it. And if it ever gets really dirty, you can actually take the speakers out and wash it. Let me see if I can find it really, really quick here. I've never taken mine out because I haven't, I've never worked out in mine, so I've never really found the need to wash it yet. It's Bluetooth uh, capable, capable, and you actually, you know, pair it with your phone, and then you put on the sleep mask. And when you put it on, you press this button right up here in the front. I've reviewed this before, but you press it in the front and hold it for three seconds and it'll say power on. Once it powers on, you take your phone and whatever you wanna to listen to on your phone, you will hear it through here. I mean, it is amazing. I This helps so much with anyone who has insomnia. It's also great for being hands-free when you are trying to go for a walk or work out. You don't have to worry about, you know, phones and different things hooked up to you. Uh, you don't have to hold anything because it's around your head. So I, I just really love this thing. Now, I'm not going to put it over my eyes because I have on a little eye makeup, but I will demonstrate to you with you here. And um, because I never use the speakers directly over my ears, I got a thing about noise right directly over my ears for some reason. But here are the two speakers. I can feel them here on the sides. And all you do is take it and I put it on my head like so. And because the speakers are on both sides, I can hear it just fine. And you have your up and down where you turn your volume up and you turn your volume down here. And I mean, I'm sleep. I believe I'm starting to nod off within seconds when I wear this. A lot of times if I don't wear it, it's because I simply just forgot to um, charge it. And the way you charge it is you charge it with this. It came with this cable and you can either charge it uh, with your laptop, which I don't like to do. I like things to be have a dedicated place of their own. So I just simply take an adapter from one of my phone chargers hook it up here. No, hook it up. Which way? Okay. Hook it up here. <laughs> I drew a blank. And this part goes into the, the mask and there's a cord hanging in here somewhere. I just can't find it right now. Don't want to waste my time. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay. Here it is. So here's the cord and it simply, um, hooks up into the, this reminds me of the old days when I used to do reviews all the time. I used to do product reviews. Most of the time it was like camera and video reviews, but then if anything interests me, I used to review it as well. So here we go. It hooks up here and then you just take one of your uh, adapters from your cell phone and plug it in the wall. Or if you have another adapter and you want to stick it into your laptop, you can do that too. But I like to put it in, um, plug it into the wall. And then you simply just hold it down again and turn it off. It'll say power off. You hold it again, for three seconds, power on. It's awesome. And whatever's playing through your cell phone, you will hear it. It will come through your sleep mask. So that's it guys. And it's called Peritong. Peritong is the name. And it is on my Amazon storefront. So if you would like to get something like this, if you have insomnia 
or if you are, you know, looking to go for walks or something, it's real soft too. You don't have to worry about things plugged in your ears, falling out your ears, being uncomfortable and everything. It's just awesome guys. I've had it for quite some time now and it's by far still one of the number one gifts I've ever gotten. It's just so practical. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you enjoy, have been enjoying my content, enjoying me, wah, <laughs> don't forget to hit that thumbs up, slap on that subscribe button and ring a ling a ling. And I will see you guys on the next video.